today I wanted to do a little show and tell. Well, maybe not that little. I have quite a few products out here today. And I wanted to do a show and tell of my skin care products. Some might even call it beauty products. I think I've selected mostly things relating to skincare, so that will be the gist of this video. And then I also have over here in this basket um, some hair products that I've been really loving and some miscellaneous body products. So I tried to gather just an array of body and skin products that I've been enjoying that I wanted to share with you and it's really truly also my collection. I mean pretty much everything I own. I don't use everything super consistently. I've been actually trying to get better about my skincare. I realized that my skin feels happier and looks great under makeup when I keep up some kind of routine, especially in the evening. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I guess I could start with you know, let's say I am home from work or I'm done for the day and it's time to, you know, jump in the shower and, you know, get ready for the evening. I usually take showers at night. <laughs> I will sometimes do it in the morning or the daytime if it's the weekend, but every night I generally do my shower routine right before I get into the I take my makeup off and I have had a very tough time trying to find a makeup remover that I enjoy. So I'm currently using this one by e.l.f. It's called Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm with Hyaluronic Acid and Pepsi. Elf skin. And I can open it. I've used it. <laughs> so there is a little um, scooper that I use to take the product out. But it's pretty much like a melty balm, and I just rub that on my face. And it takes all my makeup off really well. And it's probably the best balm I've used so far. I tried one other one that was more expensive at Target. It was like a different brand, but they sold it at Target. And it did not work at all. Like, it did not take my makeup off. This does a pretty good job. So I try to rub this well. And remove all my makeup or most of it, and then wash it off in the shower. And then I follow up with a, another cleanser. Usually, um, I go between two different ones. If I feel like I got most of my makeup off, I will jump straight to this CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser for normal dry skin. It cleanses, hydrates, and helps restore the protective skin barrier. I feel like CeraVe products have been really amazing on my skin lately, and it's sort of the only cleanser I feel like is really helping my skin and products. I really love this cleanser. It doesn't remove makeup very well at all, though. 
so just be aware of that. If you wear makeup, go ahead and do a double cleanse or remove the makeup really thoroughly before using another cleanser. But I do feel like this keeps my skin hydrated. Now, if I'm not positive that I've removed all of my makeup, I go in with a makeup removing cleanser. This one is also by CeraVe. It's the hydrating cream to foam cleanser for no normal to dry skin. I like this one. I do feel like it's a bit harsher on my skin, but that's to be expected if it's sort of deeply trying to clean off the makeup. So just something to be aware of. Maybe follow up with a hydrating cleanser after this one. Or, um, you know, if it's a very strong makeup look, you can do a balm and a cleanser. Just remember to hydrate the skin well. I am no dermatologist. I'm just going off my personal experience. <laughs> As always, make sure you try things out and avoid the things that aren't great for your skin. Um, one product I found that does not play nice with my skin is niacinamide, which is actually really helpful for a lot of people. But I have found that if I have a product with niacinamide in it, that I start to break out and uh, it's not pleasant. So, I use this makeup removing cleanser if needed. And then, um, this is actually an empty product, but I was using this squalene, squalene, squalene cleanser from The Ordinary. And it's a facial cleanser and also makeup remover. It's very tiny though. It's only like 1.7 ounces, so nice for traveling. I think they do sell a larger size, which maybe I'll get uh, once I'm out of the other cleanser, but I only need one makeup remover cleanser for now. But I did like this one, so I recommend it. I love the ordinary products. You'll see a few of them I do have as well. So I'll have to throw that out, but I wanted to save it and share. So after I've cleansed my face, then I do my evening moisturizing routine and additional skincare products. Usually, if I'm feeling fancy, I might go for um, this product. I haven't been very consistent with it. At one point, I was using it like every day and then realized I wasn't supposed to be using it every day, even though it says no more frequently than once per day. I think that was almost too much for me, so. It's a glycolic acid 7% toning solution. So, what it does is that it is a toner, so you put it on before any skincare products, after cleansing, and it evens out the texture of your skin. So I would use this a few times a week. Usually, I have kind of been off my routine for, with it for a little while, so I need to get back into it. It definitely improves the texture of the skin. And if I'm still feeling fancy, I can also do some face masks. I have a couple here that I like to have on hand for, you know, those days when you just want a little bit of self-care. So, I have By Nature Witch Hazel and Tea Tree Sheet Face Mask. Soothing. I like this one. I've used this kind before. Vitamin C Collagen. Same company. I can't 
remember if I got these at Target or the grocery store. One or the other. Target has like a ton of options nowadays. It's awesome. Vitamin C and cherry, right? This is definitely from Target. Oh my goodness, I just realized my nails match the cherries. <laughs> Love that. any treatments for acne. I do have like an acne cream. I, I'm not like in love with it so I didn't include it in here but um, what a product that I felt really helped me with acne when it does come up which is pretty infrequent. I love these star face or acne patches. I haven't tried too many but these are really nice. just like stickers that you place on your acne. They're so cute. It makes having acne a little less terrible. So I have this kit which includes, I just keep it in this because it's just really convenient, a gua sha tool and a jade roller. So I do go ahead and massage my face, mostly with gua sha, I think the most. I use this more often. Um, and it really just helps massage the face. I really love this product. And I use it with my rosehip oil, which I'll show in a minute. But I really like this. I think I got this on like Amazon but you can find it in a lot of places. It's by Destiny, in case you wanted to know. Okay. So, that is the tools I use, you know, intermittently. Products I use intermittently if I wanted to sort of up my skincare game, but we'll kind of go back to the regular um, items that I use on a frequent basis. If I skip a toner or, you know, a face mask kind of deal, I'll really go in first with a oil. Sometimes two oils, but it could just be, or serum and then oils or a variety of these. Sometimes I'll just do one because I'm really lazy and I don't want to spend too much time on my skincare. So I usually would go for rosehip oil. This is just from my local grocery Walmart by Sky Organics. And it's rosehip oil, nourishing face oil for all skin types. This is really one of my favorite oils. I feel like it's super hydrating, but smooths my skin. It calms my skin. I just love this oil. And I end up using this the most with gua sha or massaging my face. And, um, I find it really workable. It doesn't, you know, dry up too soon. I don't have to use too much for to really massaged into the skin for a little bit. So I really love rosehip oil. And then the other oil I really reach for is hyaluronic acid. And usually I'll use this one before that one, the rosehip. This is by The Ordinary. I use quite a bit of it actually. I'm pretty much empty. So I think that's probably why I haven't been using it too much just because it's almost gone. But this is really hydrating and 
I find it's purely for hydration versus like massaging it. I feel like my skin feels a little more silkier with the rosehip oil, but hyaluronic acid really works well for me too. And um, if I remember to do it before those oils, usually I'll put a serum on. I know I'm sort of going backwards here, but um, I don't put this on frequently, but sometimes if I feel extra, I will put a serum before the oils because serums should be applied before oils. So I have this one. It's Aveeno Calm and Restore for Sensitive Skin Triple Oat Serum. Um, this really calms the skin and I love it for sort of reducing irritation or if my skin feels really dry and prickly and tight. You know, I love putting this on to really soothe it down even more. So in terms of hydration, in terms of um, moisturizer, I'll usually go for two different ones in the evening. Um, they can also be for day, but um, there's the Aveeno Calm and Restore Oat Gel Moisturizer. And this just and it's a gel. Very soothing. Most often I go ahead and use my CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. This is like a staple. My skin loves this. It doesn't get irritated. It doesn't get clogged pores unless I like overdo it, over moisturize. It's just a really great moisturizer. I love this stuff so much. I don't know if anyone can relate out there, but I grew up my teenage years on proactive skincare line um, because I had bad acne. <laughs> so, I feel like I never strayed away from those things because I was too scared. <laughs> um, but then I got older and I was able to explore a little bit more. I was less fearful. Um, but I love this moisturizer for my skin. It just is so great and works really well. And it's lightweight. So it works for day and night, to be honest. For eye cream or eye care at, in the evening, I will usually go for a retinol or anti-aging eye cream. I'm pretty new to retinol and anti-aging. I, I'm only like 28, so I don't know. I'm not like reaching up my ears, but I do like to like protect what I have. So I feel like this night cream is doing that for me. It's kind of keeping things supple and, you know, as tight as it needs to be, but I can't really say that I have to be on this. It's truly just experimental right now. I don't think it's like crucial is what I'm saying. But it's the Olay Eyes Retinol 24 Night Eye Cream. And just looks like that. use this. Um, I do find my skin had to get used to it um, a little bit, so I try to use it, you know, not too aggressively. Um, but it does work. I do feel like it makes a difference. And when compared to when I like don't use it. And then last but not least, uh, for eye care at night, I love, love, love my Grande Lash. This stuff is amazing. It's essentially an eyelash serum that grows your eyelashes. Like it keeps your eyelashes growing. Lash enhancing serum is what it's called. This is the three month 
supply product and it was like $65 but I'm telling you it was worth it like uh, my eyelashes looked amazing they still look amazing I've been trying to kind of reserve it to be honest like sometimes I'm not consistent I haven't experienced any adverse effects using this over the last few months so personally for me it worked I know that's not always true for people so you know maybe get a small small sample size in case you want to not go too you know much on it to spend too much on it at first but honestly this is like a like a definitely worth it product for me um, I just feel like it enhances my eyelashes so well it grows them really long that I feel like I'm wearing fake eyelashes and I just really love it so this is probably my all-time favorite product right now because it works so well so worth an investment if you're able to in terms of the day you know the next morning usually I'll cleanse my face with a micellar water I use that to kind of cleanse my face before putting on makeup and all that jazz so before makeup I'll usually go for my moisturizing lotion or I will um, opt for like a sunscreen so I have a few sunscreens over here this is the CeraVe ultra light moisturizing lotion in SPF 30 so it has SPF in the moisturizer and it is a matte finish this is really nice um, I don't use it all the time because tinted moisturizer that I use already has SPF in it, so I feel like I could double up on SPF, but I don't really have to, so, so I use this intermittently. Okay, um, if I want to go crazy on sunscreen, like let's say I'm going to Disneyland or the beach, I will sometimes opt for like an actual sunscreen. I don't know that this is for the face. I think it's for like the whole body, but I I put it on my face and it, it it's fine. Like it doesn't do anything bad. Um, it smells really nice. I mean, it smells like a sunscreen, but it's a nice smelling sunscreen, and there's a difference. So it's a nice smelling sunscreen is my consensus. The Aveeno Protect and Hydrate Sunscreen All Day Hydration with Prebiotic Oat And it's oxybenzone free So it is, I believe, reef friendly And it is SPF 60 I took this on vacation with me It's really good Try to avoid sun damage, you guys Usually, like, if I want to have, like, a makeup Tinted SPF that's really strong. I'll go with La Roche Posay's 50 Face Broad Spectrum Tinted Mineral, the Anthelios, Anthelios. And it is light fluid sunscreen, so it's very like liquidy. Um, it's meant to be very like blurring effect and not so much like full color. really like this product a lot usually for the daytime eye care I'll go for one of two eye creams or oils so the first one is a recent purchase I got it's the Cetaphil hydrating eye gel cream for sensitive skin I find my eye area to be somewhat sensitive. I used to have an eye cream that had niacinamide in it, and this one I don't believe has it, so I try to look out for that because it ends up breaking me out. The retinol will do it, but it, my skin will get used to it, and then it's totally fine after like two days. So that's not usually an issue for me, but I 
try to find eye creams that are hydrating for the daytime because then my makeup sits way better and I just look more awake and it's a lot better and I've used this for a few days already and I really like it. It's the Hydrating Eye Gel Cream for Sensitive Skin and it has hyaluronic acid and essential vitamins B3 and E. So, yeah. It's pretty tiny, but I only use like a very small amount for each eye. Another eye solution I use is this caffeine solution by The Ordinary. This is a lovely product. I don't feel like it's as hydrating, but I do believe it helps wake my eyes up and brightens it. So, lip balm, and usually like any small hydration for dry skin. I love Aquaphor Healing Ointment. I used this on my tattoos when I first got them, and then I just kind of never stopped using it for like my skin and my lips specifically. I keep losing my small chapsticks that are also aquaphor, but I keep losing them. Like it's so frustrating. <laughs> I don't understand how. Like I really don't. Um, I don't know. So I, I carry around this big bottle because I'm less likely to lose it and I haven't lost it since. So I don't know. I think I'm just going to stick with the big bottles for um, but it's super great for all kinds of things, cuts, other things like that. Very protecting and hydrating. And very safe, you know, for sensitive skin, usually. So, love this product so much. It's like a holy grail. <laughs> and then I have two facial mists. One is like a witch hazel facial mist, rose petal. This is really just for like refreshing my face or prepping and toning the skin before I do my makeup. I don't do it all the time, but it is nice to use. Let's spritz it. I just sprayed my wall. <laughs> so, um, I would have done it if I had done it this way. It would have come into the camera, so that probably would have been unpleasant. But so my wall got the uh, the gist of the spritz. But I love this product, and it smells really nice. If you're into the rose scent, and then this product is really awesome. It's the NYX. Bear With Me Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Revitalize and Set Multitasking Spray and this item I can, I usually use as like a setting spray or a primer or both. Sets it really well, keeps my skin looking smooth, um, I just really love it. So I highly recommend Sometimes setting sprays can break me out, but this one I found doesn't do that. So, that's our skincare products. I'm going to now readjust things and let's go through the hair products. Okay, so I've just rearranged things a little bit meant to make it a little easier. So for hair products and miscellaneous products, um, I will start with some shampoos that I use. So I really love this Kristen S line from Target, mainly because this is kind of a funny thing, but I love the scent of her product. It smells so good. Um, this particular one is the Kristen S Scalp Purifying Micellar Shampoo. It doesn't have like a strong scent because I think it's not really meant to, but it's deep cleansing, shine boosting, scalp hydrating, removes buildup and strand 
fortifying. This is awesome for sort of like purifying and deep cleaning your hair and I use dry shampoo sometimes and hairspray and other products so um, when I do have a hair wash day this feels so good on my hair so I really love it it does like a really good job of making your hair look and feel clean so love that I've been trying out this Kristen S. Extra Gentle Shampoo. It has the loveliest scent. It just smells so good. It has like a hint of like coconut and I don't even know. It just smells so good, you guys. I love it. I love it so much. Is it the best shampoo I've ever had in my life? Um, I don't think so, but I really like it for the smell. And it does feel good on my hair. I just don't think it's like mind-blowing, if that makes sense. So sometimes I'll double cleanse shampoo. So I'll do like the micellar and then I'll follow up with this extra gentle shampoo. I like to double shampoo to really clean my hair when I do end up cleaning it. Um, but this I'll tend to use if I feel like my hair, I haven't used many products or it doesn't feel you know, like it's time to wash it, but I didn't use a lot of heavy product on it. I'll go for this shampoo. And it's nourishing, calming, softness restoring, safe for daily use. For conditioning, I have a Daily Scalp Hair Mask product and this smells so good. Best scent out of everything. It has like a hint of the scents from the pink bottles but like better. And it's a, a Daily Scalp Hair Mask. There is one that looks exactly like this and it's the scrub that's like a sugar scrub. I do have that one, but I accidentally bought it thinking it was this product, so I have that too. I don't love that one, so I'm not like putting it in this video, but they do have a scrub if you want to try that. I just find it hard to use on my hair, so I just, I like don't really tend to use it. This is a hair mask that you apply to your scalp, so I'll rub it on my fingers and like run it through like the top of my head, the back of my head, trying to get my scalp as much as possible. But it is a root to tip hydration, scalp rebalancing, strand strengthening, frizz minimizing, soothing and softening. And I find that this is so great for the scalp and feeling that hydration and just sometimes I, I had struggles with like a dry itchy scalp. It wasn't dandruff, but it was just really dry and itchy feeling and this is very soothing and you can use it anytime you wash your hair or daily. So if you're really going through it with an itchy scalp or dry, tight scalp, I highly recommend a hair mask like this. Yeah. Love it so much. This is one of my favorite products and truly has helped my scalp. Another like conditioner, so that kind of also acts as like a conditioner, but I do like to follow up with a proper conditioner. Uh, this is from the same line, Kristen S. <laughs> Not sponsored, you guys. I just really love the scents, like they smell so good. Moisturizing and calming conditioners with the extra gentle, and I just let this sit for a little bit in my hair, and it's super hydrating. really love that. Another product of Kristen S, which I think is the last one, is the leave-in conditioner. I use this as like a detangler and it says it's for all hair types, detangling, softening and strengthening, moisture sealing and shine enhancing. So I spray this to detangle my hair after the shower and then I will follow up with like a hair heat protectant. Um, and then like blow dry my hair if I need to, or sometimes just let it air dry. But yeah, 
this is good. This is not a heat protectant. It's just a leave-in conditioner, but it's really good. The scent is okay. It's not as, you know, my favorite compared to the other ones. If I'm feeling fancy, I'll go with, like, a nice hair mask. And this is, like, if I want, like, a special spa day or I really want to take care of myself. Sometimes I'll try to, like, conserve these packets for, like, a few days or a few a couple treatments because I don't need the whole thing to be honest. But this is the Moroccan Mend Argan Oil Deep Repair Hair Mask. It treats dry, brittle hair, replenishes moisture, revives tired, lifeless strands. Sounds a little sad. It is high protein, just something to be aware of. So yeah, I like to pick up these things once in a while just to treat myself. In terms of hair oils, I have been getting into hair oils lately. One that I love and use most often is the Moroccan oil treatment for light, um, which means for like, I guess lighter, thinner hair, not as thick. I have this small bottle from like Amazon. It's like $15 to $16 for this tiny bottle, but I love it so much. <laughs> and I keep buying the tiny bottle when I should just buy the big bottle and that will last me so much longer. It smells so good. Like, it's divine. It just smells so good. Like, I love the scent. It's not too perfumey or anything like that. It's very, like, subtle. Well, maybe not subtle, but it, it's definitely a pleasant scent. So, that's what it looks like. And I really like it. Use this most often. Usually on dry hair, I will do this Renewing Argan Oil of Morocco Dry Oil Mist. Every time I wear this on my hair, like if I spritz it before I head out the door for, you know, work or something, people smell it and they're like, wow, you smell really good. I swear. I've gotten several people saying that. And I don't really wear any other types of perfume, so I know it's this product. And I say that because I'm in a place right now where I'm trying to get more perfumes and like body sprays, but sometimes I'll just go for this on my hair and people are like, oh my god smell good and I'm like thank you thank you so much so it's really nice it, a little goes a long way is all I have to say um, depending on your hair type but it smells really good and does the trick of keeping your hair shiny in terms of hair care um, the final like hair treatment oil I have is from The Ordinary. I've been really into trying to grow my hair in a healthy way, just taking care of it better. So I have this multi-peptide serum for hair density. And I usually put it around my temples where hair is a lot thinner and like easily can break and also on scalp, my scalp. Uh, I don't put too much because I don't really feel like I need it aggressively, but I do feel a difference in my hair. So, just a few drops and you rub it into your scalp and that's all it is. Yeah, so I really like that. I try to keep it up every night on clean hair if I have like product in my hair, like a lot of product, I will usually wait to wash my hair first and dry it and then apply this as a treatment. It does not make my hair oily and I tend to get really oily hair, so in case you were worried about that, I can attest to how it does not contribute to like oiliness, like your natural oils. This texturizing spray from Heritage. I'm missing the cap. 
I really like this texturizing spray. Um, I haven't tried too many, but I do like this. It's cruelty-free vegan, and it was at my grocery store, so I picked it up. <laughs> it also smells nice. Like, it doesn't smell too bad. Like, not overwhelming. And sometimes I'll use this in replacement of hairspray, and it still kind of, like, gives me the same you know, need as a hairspray without kind of going in an overwhelming direction. So we're kind of getting into more miscellaneous products here. One of them is a body mist that I really love from Bath and Body Works, and it's the Waikiki Beach Coconut. This smells so good. I love it. Um, it smells really just tropical but coconutty and if you're, you're that kind of person and you like that scent highly recommend not that expensive for like you know body fragrance I really like it so I had to mention it because I'm almost out and I do have a Bath and Body Works gift card that I still need to use so I'm gonna go pick some more up I think the same train as coconut and Hawaii, um, I have this body lotion we had gotten in Kauai. It's the Hawaiian Botanical Lotion. This brand is the Island Soap Candle Works, and it's in Creamy Coconut. It smells so good. It's pretty much the reason why we got it. smells like, just smells like summer, you know? Like a good coconut scent is never a wrong choice. It's just always a good idea. Another summer favorite product that I love dearly and discovered this year is the Mega Babe Thigh Rescue Anti-Friction Stick. This stuff smells great and does the job. So, it's meant to, um, it's like a deodorant looking product, but it's a balm. You basically rub it on like your inner thigh where your thighs might, you know, get chafing if they don't have any fabric <laughs> to help. Uh, so like if you're wearing jean shorts or a dress and your legs are rubbing together, if you're walking, you can start to get like uncomfortable. I love this stuff so much and it's so useful especially because we go to Disneyland a lot um, and we are walking a lot and it's really freaking hot outside so I love this product so much. It's such a lifesaver um, for those hot days when you're having to wear shorts or a skirt or something like that. love it so much and it smells good like it's not overwhelming and it's a really nice scent all right so the last few items i have are just miscellaneous hair products i wanted to share about because <laughs> i felt like it was on thing one of the items is <laughs> just this comb that i have now it's a comb that i have had since high school did you not? I bought it at a like mother's market store randomly in high school because I needed a comb to comb out my wet hair. You know, out of the shower, detangling your hair with, you know, a straight up brush can often be really too harsh. So you want to use like a wet brush or like a thick comb to detangle. I think this was like by Eco Tools or something. I don't even know some eco brand. I don't know why because technically I think it's plastic so I'm not really sure where the eco thing comes in. Um, maybe it's made from some other material but it does have a broken tooth <laughs> and I've kept it since I was like 17 and that's 10 years ago. I've had this comb for 10 years. Talk about a favorite, right? of a fun fact and my favorite hair tool to this day in terms of brushes. So, 
love that. Then I have some hair cloths that I really love. This pink one I think is from Target. I like it because it's long so it really can hold like medium to long hair pretty well. If you have long hair you might have to kind of like wrap it twice uh, or twist your hair twice to fit everything in. But I really like this a lot. And then I have these two clips that I got from I think Amazon and they're much smaller, right? They're like almost half the size of the other one and it's almost like this like acrylic dip pattern. So this is like the jade one and it came in a pack with the white one. So that's how they look. They don't hold that much hair. So sometimes what I like to do is do two twists on the back of my head. So if you can imagine, you know, let's say you're putting all your hair with one butterfly clip. You know, you're twisting it and then you're clipping it, right? So you have like one twist. So with this concept, I wish I had a photo to share with you, but I don't. Maybe I'll show another day. But um, you just divide your hair in half and then you twist each side of your hair as though you're putting it up in a claw clip. So then, on the back of your head, you have two little butterfly clip buns. So it's almost like using the concept of space buns, but they're like butterfly buns on the back of your head. Like, But it's super cute. Love it so much. And I get compliments all the time on it, on that hairstyle. If I, I use these together, like it's not a big deal that they're different colors. I think the mismatched is cute and they're literally like the same style so I don't think it causes a huge difference but you could do really cute matching ones or you know like those really cool clips these days are just like super cute styles so definitely recommend those and like that certain hairstyle and speaking of butterflies we have some butterfly clips from Amazon. I mean, you can get these most places, but uh, I love these so much. Every time I wear them, I get compliments because people just find them really like fun um, and cool, like interesting addition to your outfit. And they're very like 90s, 2000s, mainly 2000s. I love it. It just really is a throwback for me. So sometimes I'll use like two little clips with different shades or I'll use one up the same shade or I'll do a variety of shades but um, butterfly clips are super cute and easy to add some fun to your hairstyle. In your outfit. Right? It's all about having fun. That's how I feel about styling. Okay. Alright. So. That is all the products that I wanted to show and tell today. I hope you enjoyed all the items I got to go through and I hope that there were some lovely sounds for you to enjoy. With that, I thank you so much for watching and appreciate your support like always. And I hope that wherever you are, you're doing So, thank you again, and